Good morning, Garages are on view yet again, this time for our sale Monday the 23rd of March. So, sales continue. We have still been going out doing valuations. There's still been a fair old demand for that. Uh, in addition, we've had a fair old number of customers coming in. Some of them we've valued from afar and others have been perhaps closer to us than we'd like them to be, but never mind, we press on. And we have a full sale to offer you, as ever, fully illustrated online. It's going to be sold live online on Monday, and we will still have viewing in the room and attendance for the sale, as things stand, subject to any new government advice. Um, we are full of stock, unlike the supermarkets, it's very telling. I, I, I live near Stenning, the co-op there, run out of bacon, farming sort of communities of people that like sort of bacon. In Shoreham, Tesco's, ran out of milk more urban perhaps. In Lewis, do you know what they ran out of? Tonic water. Panic buying of tonic water. What can you do without gin and tonic? There we go, reflects the different nature of the towns. Anyway, good people of Lewis are still out and about to some extent. And uh, we're going to take a little bit longer to look at this cell. People have said, you know, we might not come along, but we'd like to look and see a bit more on film. Of course, it's all online to look at all photographs. You can ask for more photographs of items. The staff are all here doing condition reports. We've had a few people off ill, but no one seems to think they've actually had the virus. They've just had seasonal disorders, so to speak. So there we go. So we crack on. Lot 946. This catches my eye. Rather smart bridge. It's your valve mirror. Look at that. Nice turning. I like this little fan feature here. It's, uh, it's in a two to three hundred pound estimate. So there we go. That's a good start. Moving round, we see other furniture. This nice little commode. Sort of French commode, marble top, few little nicks around the edge. Nice colour. Got 942 in at 800 to 1,000 pounds. Into the main gallery. Desks. You do require a desk. We have effectively a pair. This one here. It's reproduction. It's in mahogany. Very nicely made. Sort of lined out throughout. Pine and oak lining. English locks. It's in at 70 to 120 pounds. And if you want two of them, if you want a matching one for your friend, there's one over there. So there we go. Two of those in the sale. A few things have come down real offers from the fine stuff, such as this lot, 912, this uh, escritoire, nice early piece that. Lac Bogat, this uh, power shell inlay, it's at four to six hundred pounds. With a big old armoire here, it needs some backboards for it, but it's huge, you can move into it for the, for the 12 week shutdown that's going to come or whatever. Got 936, and at two to three hundred pounds. Good value that. I mean, it needs a bit of work. We've got some splitting down the doors, but still, it's a lot of furniture for £200. Further down, this rather smart little cabinet catches my eye. A two door cabinet there, I suppose in the old days one might have put a television in it. It's, uh, it's, it's not that old, but it's nicely made, it's at two to three hundred pounds. Something weird, this wall applique, papier mache or something similar, 40 to 60 pounds. That'll scare the neighbours. This table's rather smart, Victorian, walnut, nicely carved, no drawer, just a centre table, though it has got a sort of pad there for writing at, uh, which is curious, or for resting one's feet upon. Can I find a lot ticket? Yes, I can. Lot 916. It's in at three to five hundred. A few little bits missing, so it does need a bit of work. This is fun, this hall settle in oak. You can uh, <clears throat> keep your hats in there and other things elsewhere. Little hanging pegs here. This uh, door opens up, there we go, it's, it's kind of curious, that kind of fun. And it's got 931, two to three hundred pound estimate. Table and chairs, there's a whole lot number there, a long time ago. Uh, the, uh, we've got the chairs here, eight dining chairs, Regency dining chairs, there we are, lot 920, in at 150 pounds. Table's a separate lot, that can be very little money, these modern reproductions don't sell particularly well, but is in the auction. We see a nice dresser base here. Little painting here catches my eye. This is um, Edward Chapel. Nice painting there. It's a uh, good frame. Look at that. Nice quality frame. We've got a label on the back which says, he reads it upside down, South of the Thames. There we go. And that's, um, who is that? Royal Institute of Oil Painters. Not dated, but of age. There we go. Nice little painting that. 473. That's in at two to three hundred pounds. There we go. Long case clock. Thomas. Thomas Brass, it looks like, of Guildford. There we are, oak cased, lot 928, 2 to 250. Sort of hint of the Dutchness about that case, but still, good value that, again. Refectory table and chairs, lot 905. Eight dining chairs, two to 400 pounds. I'll dash 
dash about again looking for the label and here 904 the table at four to six hundred solid table there rather smart little centre table here I think this is a re-offer didn't, uh, didn't get sold last week it's at 500 pounds this time I do like this sort of carving of the marble top this moulding around the edges something a bit more funky these kind of Macintosh style chairs it's got eight nine four six of them in the lot were made of oak and uh, they're rather dramatic looking things so okay, pull one out they're at six to eight hundred pounds over the back there we've got that nice sort of satiny type wood bookcase other bookcases chest of drawers smart dresser here what 901 i think i admired it last week this week it's in at 400 which uh, really should reflect its good value out the back let's look at the smalls we have um William Sidney Cooper here, watercolour, typical cattle. Some people say that he couldn't paint their feet very well, so that's why they're always sat down or in water or something. Anyway, it's in at 100, 150. Some more local works in the sale. This is um, Claude Moncaster, and uh, a fairly local view, in at 150 to 200. Something a bit more contemporary, Lisa Micklewright. Uh, this is Leslie Robertshaw, a sort of local artist to Lewis. We've got some samplers. Then we'll sort of slowly glide down the smalls here. More, more works by local artists. I like these, Moorcroft. Two bowls in the lot. That sounds a bit iffy, might have a bit of a crack to it. But that one, that one sounds better. The two in the lot there, they're lot 135, they're over 150 pounds. We've got sort of modern globes. We have ethnographic carvings, more little lots of Moorcroft. Silver mounted decanter there by Asprey. So what do we look? We look for chips. It's the only chips, obviously. Stopper looks good. Is it hallmarked? Yeah, silver hallmarked there. That's lot 138, 40 to 60 pounds. Nice little thing for Christmas, which is coming, no doubt. Uh, these are unusual, aren't they? These are Australian wildcats, no less, with these um, rather jazzy glass bases. Uh, I think they might be Austrian, actually. It says made in Austria, so I'm a little worried about the fact that it says Australian wildcats, but there we go. That might be a small flaw for us to amend in the catalogue. And they're made of resin, not 140, you know, 80 to 100. Oh, it's, I think it's our like Tumbridge Wells office have called them Australian. Perhaps they know more than we do. Uh, further down, what else do I see? A little pair of oils up here. Views in Essex and Kent, of old. Uh, more silver mounted decanters, 143, there are the, uh, the sort of hourglass shape there and another, both with silver collars and with some other plated items. Moorcroft teddy bears, we've still got a few of those lurking about, two of those, 30 to 50 pound with the boxes. Mixed art glass, bit of plate, ballerinas, modern prints. Cigarette cards, map of Westmoreland should you require one. Down the middle here, this uh, Naval, French naval schooner, we say, the Marseille of 64. There we go. Nicely made model that. That's in at 150 to 200. Some nice old tools here. Could come in handy when things break down. We'll need to go back to uh, shearing our own sheep and such things. There we go. That's lot 108 in at 80 to 120. I like this jazzy trunk. I mean, it's been called a campaign chest or a military type chest. Love this painting on it. 40 to 60 pounds. Old Crunchy Roses, this, this, this Royal Albert, I mean, what is it about Old Crunchy Roses? It still seems to sell, or, or perhaps it's because it's so chintzy, it sort of just, just sort of out chintzes everything else. Anyway, all that tea set and dinnerware in at two to three hundred pounds, got 104. Back down the line, some miniature Dalton, with the writing slope here with other things at 50 pounds. Quantity of glass there. Again, cut glass, never so popular, but uh, 80 to 120, the whole lot, some nice little bits and pieces in amongst it. Colour glass above, we see sort of silver and mix ceramics here. Nice little watercolour there by Fizz, a hunting scene, that's an original, it's in at 100 to 150. Should you need some lampshades, come here, look, we have every kind you could ever imagine. I would imagine of, of, of that ilk anyway. Got 91 glass shades, £60 estimate for the lot. This is sort of attributed to James Stark, so loyal here, rather dark and gloomy. He's uh, He's loading his gun there, he's got the ramrod, he's ramming it into his rifle or musket. And uh, not bad little oil, dark and mysterious, not framed, in at 150 to 200. Further down, this is Alfred Heaton Cooper, very popular at the moment. Doesn't look particularly striking, does it? Rather sort of woolly painted watercolour. It's in at 100 to 150, probably going to make more of that one. The uh, Heaton Cooper's a sort of name to watch at the minute. So, we we'll go around the back. And there's a fair old quantity of jewellery again. There's um, some interesting pieces here. I was looking, I was lotting this yesterday. Some nice gents watches. 
you know, that's quite smart. Lot 638, 9 karat gold. It's by record. It's in at 100 to 120. And this one by Benson, again, right, stylish looking watch that. Lot 640, 100 pounds. Some lovely big cufflinks there. Nicely engraved, those big old armorials. Um, someone else's monogram, unless you happen to be RD, you might need to get that changed. But they're in at 220 to 260. There's a Rolex here, gent steel Rolex in at 6 to 800. Otherwise, some nice little rings I've seen now. Let's be get my head around where they are. There's one in Moss Agate, there's a Bloodstone signet ring, smart little aquamarine and diamond there. Uh, this little brooch is nice little sort of late Victorian Edwardian. Those are diamonds, that's a little swallow brooch there, in with a little sort of ribbon brooch, the two together at 150. Uh, there's a few gold coins, there's a sort of Byzantine gold coin there, two to 300. Something more recent, there's a half sovereign. There's some gold thimbles, here we are, one in 15 carat, one in nine. They're still quite sort of collectible, those. Little mixed lot of rings there. These, these Victorian earrings in the 100 or so. And uh, then furthermore, there's a 20, is it? No, that's a $5 gold coin mounted as a brooch. Nice little platinum cocktail watch being turned into a brooch there. So good section there. A little bit lighter in the cabinets. Some, some other well, gaming counters, ivories, lace, a few medals. Around the back here, some good rummage lots of costume jewelry. And otherwise, still some ivories. Look at that. Wow, that's, that's elaborate, isn't it? That, Probably as a parasol handle originally and turned into magnifying glass. That's lot 206, in with a silver handled one at £150. There's some Chinese hardstone carvings and bronzes, a few little miniatures, some, some miniature ceramic dogs, and a good range of, of pocket watches, mostly base metal, but a, a mixture in amongst it. Back in the jewellery, a little overflow from the cabinet, some more gold items, nice long guard chain that, 9 karat gold. There's a, one of these nine carat mess purses in there, Sweetheart's brooch, the RAF one. There's a tank regiment one there, it's perhaps a little bit more unusual. It's lot 680 and it's 60 to 80 pounds. In the silver, not loads of silver, but a good mixture. We've got some silver tea sets, bowls, etc. Uh, have a look again at the website as ever. It's all there, it's all fully described. Going down the smalls again. Svolsky crystal and other similar th shot 69. It's all elite, so it means it's pre-war, pre-Second World War, and at 150 to 250. More of this Svolsky down the bottom, quite a collection. I mean, look at those, incredibly elaborate. So I imagine they were very expensive in their day. That's lot 49, the three in one lot, the three sort of Holoquins and clowns and the like, in at 150 pounds. Nice little oil there. The uh, huntsman's finished shooting, sitting by the fire. Perhaps he's been confined home for um, 14 days. That's in at 50 to 70 pounds. Ornate frame on that, surely good value. Carrying along the line, smart little casket this, uh, with, a, with a lining box, it's in at 70 pounds. What we call Mary Gregory style glass with this white enameled figuring, mixed lot there of it, in at 100 to 150. A few wines, not so much alcohol this week, perhaps people are keeping it to themselves. Uh, decorative ceramics again, more Shavortsky, uh cartoons and caricatures and all sorts of things. So, running around the back there, we've got the little people, there's teddy bears, there's this garden set, lot 875. You get the table bench and the chairs, estimates 150 to 200, which is a good value, spring is coming or so I'm told. Then, that rather stylish flappers dress here, heavy beadwork, lot 128 in at 50 to 70 pounds. More bears, decorative artworks. We'll quickly go down the middle here. Some more wall lights, cooking pots, this American sword here, which is, uh, I'm told, dates to the 1830s, although that 1862 is what it says on the blade. Um, then further down, cloisonne, oil lamp. Should you require one, I'm sure you do, the uh, Wallace and Gromit chess set. Wow, you've got to stay indoors for three weeks, you're going to need something to do, and there we go, look at the pawns. Preston dog food, marvellous isn't it? There we go, what more could you need? Uh, it is all here as ever. Uh, then we have the little Chinese figures, uh, still lots of buying from China on the internet, we, we saw huge interest last week and in the main sale. These are lot 22 and at three to four hundred pounds. Some plated wares, that's nice, that's an old sort of Sheffield type plate. The stained glass, more local art on top, more elaborate Schwarzky crystal, nice sort of arts and craftsy 
mirror there, a bit different isn't it, lot 15, that's in at 80 to 120. Song de Burphy vase, that's lot 16, 2 to 300 on that. Why well, about an Arthur Cook of a, a Bulldog, that's lot 452, 80 to 120. So we go through and have a look at the furniture again. Seating furniture, this rather smart armchair, it needs some um, finishing off, it's just in the plain sort of calico, but 873 and at 70 to 90 pounds. There's a mixture of carpets and rugs, again all illustrated. These more funky sort of modern chairs with the uh, stylish underframes. There we are, lot 952, they're at 150 to 200. Uh, we have coffers, here we are. Solid oak, decoratively carved, fair wear and tear, in at 80 to 120, that's lot 803. Moving on, sort of diminutive little clock here. In at 80 pounds, not 808. Um, otherwise, let's go round. We've been trying to shift this record player for a long time. I don't think we're going to, but that's 814. Should you require an HMV gramophone converted to a later record player? I think that's where it, it falls down. Then um, it's in at 20 pounds. I'd probably sell it for a tenner. So uh, you might like the cabinet even rather than the, the, the contents. There's a nice clean chest of drawers. A few little marks on it. Good state of polish to the front. 822. It's at 100 to 150. More seating furniture, hall chairs there, more clocks, big old linen press, smart sort of satin walnut chest there, got 831, satin birch we've said, 50 to 100 pound estimate. Decorative modernish tapestry, got 834 and at 8120. Large bureaus, as hard as ever. Look at that interior, isn't that fun? All these drawers, you could, you'd never remember where you put anything, but that's kind of fun, isn't it? Nice interior, that. I don't think it's 100% original. I think it's probably a little bit later. It's got a sort of early 19th century feel, but perhaps the whole thing flows into that. It's lot 835, 70 pounds estimate. If the bidding's struggling, we'll probably let that go at 40. That's a lot of furniture for 40 pounds. Solid Cuban mahogany. Now, what else can I find? I find this table, 40 to 60 pounds again. Extended dining table, might need a little bit of a repolish, but at that price you could use it in the garden practically. Or how about a painted armoire? This uh, French one here, 838, 80 to 120. I open it, it doesn't fall down, which is always good news. It bolts together with pin bolts, so it totally flat packs this. You get it in the back of an estate car. And uh, there we go, a lot of wardrobe, you could repaint it. If you don't want to paint something, this sort of deco -y. It is rather deco, this wardrobe here, lot 839. It's in maple with uh, some rather nice sort of Coromandel type banding. Mirror inside, there we go, that's in at £70 estimate. So, a whole host of things. We've got some fire breaks over there. We've got other things, no doubt, that we haven't been able to show you today. But it's all here, uh, so do come along if you feel able to or if you wish to we'll be here we'll be here saturday morning as well till one o'clock and then on the sale day we'll be selling here in this room and um, if you can't make it just log on online you can bid you can ask questions everything like that so uh, thank you very much and um, good luck to you all